Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have terrible luck for the next week. Oh shit, we got cops, 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 cops. Crazy police chases don't just exist in video games and movies. The police have to always be prepared to chase down criminals, even if those criminals have some pretty creative ways of evading capture. Whether their vehicle of choices of convertible an RV or a skateboard. They figure out how to keep running for as long as they possibly can, and whether they're a hardened criminal or just a little kid police are going to have to find a way to pull them over. Let's take a look at some of the greatest real-life police chases of all time. Number 10. Woman with Kid. A woman by the name of Caitlin Rodriguez shocked Texas when her police chase turned into a family affair. The 29-year-old was caught speeding down Route 90 at 100 miles an hour after cops tried to pull her over on outstanding warrants. The woman knew she was wanted, so she thought her best chance at freedom was a high-speed chase down the highway, but it turns out that she wasn't the only one in the car. After her Mercedes SUV crashes into the back of a pickup truck, she jumps out and retrieves her baby car seat in all from the back seat. Then she dashes across several lanes of a busy highway avoiding cars with her baby still in hand and tries to steal herself a brand new ride, but carjacking can't be so easy with a baby in so, and she's apprehended by police before she can even get the car started. The baby, thankfully unharmed, was carefully removed from the car and brought somewhere safe. Before moving to the next number, we just want a small favor from you. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and get one week good luck for you. Try this, it really works. Number 9. Star Criminals. Running from police in style seems better reserved for games like GTA, but two burglars in Los Angeles thought that they should turn being chased by police into a star-studded moment. The two men drove down Hollywood Boulevard in a Ford Mustang convertible and were seen pulling donuts dancing in the seats pumping their fists in the air and just genuinely having a good time as police chased them for about an hour and a half. Their chase even gained a number of followers. As people live tweeted the event as they watched them speed down the busy boulevard. The chase lasts all the way to South LA, with the two men soaking up the attention the whole time. Before they finally pulled over to take some selfies with fans as they waited for police to catch up. It seems like the duo wanted to go out in style, as they complied peacefully with the officers when they arrived. Do you think you'd try to take advantage of your five minutes of fame if you ever ended up in a police chase? Let us know in the comments. Number 8. A man stole a lumber truck. A man who stole a lumber truck and took it on a joyride through a town gave a whole new meaning to the term hot pursuit. The man was chased by police after he stole the vehicle and started doing donuts on a busy street. He was also waving at people and seemingly enjoying his ride as pedestrians cheered him on. But despite how much people were enjoying the show, the vehicle was dangerously swinging across the highway and blocking traffic and moments away from causing an accident. When the police start to pursue things get a little too hot for the driver, one of his tires is shot out and he loses control of the vehicle. The back of the truck starts to catch on fire and the flame continues to grow as he continues fleeing. Flaming debris even starts to roll down the highway as it flies off of his vehicle. He's eventually brought to a stop and taken out of the vehicle before the fire can spread, but it's a pretty close call. If anyone on this list was happy to have the police pull him out of his vehicle, it's probably this guy. Number 7. Oklahoma Driver. A drive through some wide open spaces might seem like a fun time, but we're sure it was stressful for this Oklahoma driver. A man in a stolen truck took police on a chase through country roads and then wide open fields when they tried to corner him. The driver seems to have some fun at first, even pulling donuts before another vehicle pulls up and shoots at the truck. Panicked, the driver takes off through the fields and then ends up driving straight into a pond when trying to reverse away from the police. He then clumsily gets out of the vehicle and trudges through the water as fast as he can, which is not very fast given the swampy conditions. The police have some trouble following him in, but he's eventually caught and put soaking wet into the patrol car. We're sure that he didn't imagine his day ending in such a sinking situation. Number 6. Police chased their own patrol car. 
Some criminals think that in order to beat the police you have to become the police. This was the case for one man who was chased by police after he decided to steal a pickup truck. He crashes the stolen truck into the desert in a cloud of sand and jumps out, using the confusion to his advantage and taking off into the bush. It looks like he might try to flee on foot or hide from the police, but what he does instead is wait for the officers to start chasing him and then double back. He heads towards the abandoned police cruisers on the side of the road, completely unnoticed by the officers, and lucky for him they left their keys in the ignition. Helicopters watch as he takes off in the stolen cruiser and even passes by other officers on their way to lend backup who think he's one of them. But eventually, they catch on to him once the car is reported stolen, and he's finally cornered and taken into custody. But where short was a strange day for the officers, who got a lot more than they bargained for by having to chase down their very own patrol car. Number 5. Woman with Dogs. 52-year-old Julian Rainbird was struck while trying to evade police in an RV after they tracked her down for identity theft. Rainbird bought the RV with an identity she'd stolen. So when the identity theft was reported, the police were almost immediately on her tail. Police approached the RV first, but Rainbird frantically sped away. It's obvious that it was difficult for her to control the large vehicle and that she was in a completely panicked state. Unable to weave through traffic, she smashes into at least six cars and a palm tree causing more and more damage to the RV as she goes. But she continues to drive, even with gaping holes in the vehicle. It turns out she wasn't the only one in the car, either, she brought along her two furry friends. At one point her dog seems to have enough and decides to jump out of the vehicle. Don't worry, the dog ended up being just fine but a second dog appears and it's clear he wishes he jumped out to. The RV finally comes to a halt and Rainbird decides to run on foot, but she's quickly outrun by the police and taken into custody, and her dogs, the unwilling accomplices to her reckless driving, was taken somewhere safe. Number 4. High-speed crash. A crash that could have ended very violently went down in Phoenix, Arizona. 31-year-old Mitchell Timothy Title tried to avoid capture after police tried to stop him for a moving traffic violation. Instead of pulling over, he speeds up and police are forced to use stop sticks to try and slow him down, but he avoids them. He speeds and then starts to exceed 100 km per hour. The police try to box him in, but that doesn't work either. He rams a patrol car and veers off, picking up even more speed as he darts away. Obviously, he had to slow down at some point and cops were just hoping he wouldn't collide with another driver, but of course, all this concluded in a head-on high-speed collision. Between Ty Bell's red SUV and a black SUV, black smoke fills the air and things don't really look good for either of the drivers. Ty Bell's vehicle even rolls a few times before coming to a complete stop, but amazingly after such a high-speed accident, he is uninjured as is the driver of the other vehicle. He was then taken into custody and driven off in a patrol car at a much slower speed. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take me 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal you just leave a like on this video smash that subscribes button and hit the notification bell and you'll get 15 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 3. Active Thief. Some car thieves don't even prefer cars as their main method of transportation such as the case of a man in Los Angeles who was chased by cops after stealing a BMW sedan. The driver speeds through red lights and weaves through traffic to avoid capture, but he eventually crashes into the back of a vehicle stopped in traffic. But that didn't mean it was over for this thief. He figured that leaving the car behind and using another means of transportation was his best bet. The man hops out of the BMW with his trusty longboard in hand, and he runs into oncoming traffic and hops onto his board once he reaches the sidewalk and rides it for about a block before he has to run into traffic again. His joyride is then thwarted by the driver of a pickup truck, who blocks his path allowing police to finally corner and capture him. Turns out that the pickup truck driver was actually a bit of a celebrity. It was actor Lou Pizarro who starred in the true TV show Operation Repo, so at least this guy had a pretty cool story to tell in jail. Number 2. Kids Criminal. 
You don't have to be an experienced driver to be the subject of a police chase. You don't even have to have a license or be of legal age. Like this 10-year-old Ohio boy who was taken into custody after leading police on a high-speed chase that ended when troopers boxed him in along the Ohio Turnpike. But this wasn't even the 10-year-old's only joyride, a second chase took place just two weeks later, and this time the boy was more evasive. He drove onto a grassy berm at a slow speed to avoid officers stopping sticks. A trooper was able to gently nudge the vehicle into a post with his cruiser and block his getaway, and the child was thankfully unhurt. So why would he take his parents' car out for a joyride in the first place? Well, the first time he told officers that he was just bored, but the second time. Yeah, that's because his mother took away his PlayStation. Number 1. Two Kids Ride. That Ohio boy was not the first or the last kid to get arrested for taking his parents' car on a joyride. What about these two kids who found themselves getting a talking to by the Portage Police Chief for reckless driving and endangerment? Not even tiny children in their tiny cars are above the law, but all jokes aside, some really young kids have been involved in police chases. Like this 9-year-old driver and his 4-year-old passenger who was pulled over for the second time while driving a car they'd stolen from their parents. On 911, that the vehicle appeared to be operated by two young children, and that they were not able to keep the vehicle in the correct lane of traffic. A Washington County Sheriff's deputy responded and was able to intercept the vehicle about three miles away from the location of the initial 911 call. While he was in pursuit, the nine-year-old drove the vehicle into a ditch. Thankfully he wasn't going very fast and no one was hurt, but we hope that this is the last time that these two siblings decide to drive themselves to grandma's house. So what's your favorite entry on the list, and have any of you ever been in your own real-life police chase, or maybe you were the cops doing the chasing? Let us know in the comments be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you want more great content, thanks for watching.